I would like to show you this schematic about block diagram of ventilator systems, different systems of ventilation. As we mentioned before, we have a lot of different classifications. And here you can look at these classifications in a diagram. So the first thing, the power. Here the power source can be used to classify a ventilator. So we have electrically powered or pneumatically powered ventilators or combination between electrical and pneumatic and pneumatic powered uh, ventilators are the ventilators that they are using pressure to move parts mechanical system rather than electrical system also you can have different ventilat ventilators with different pressure generators you have positive pressure which is pushing air out or negative pressure to allow sucking air in also you have control systems called open and closed loop control time volume pressure cycle or volume pressure control those are the two things that we're going to spend some time on because they're very important to understand in designing ventilators then we have something called power transmission so you have volume displacement or flow control valves and the output the waveform we're going to explain that as well what i want from you to realize and understand that we have different types of ventilators we're living in the covid 19 pandemic era and ventilators be became very very important the design of ventilators as an instrument is now one of the things that we as biomedical engineers should look into and make sure that we understand all the concepts and the components uh, of such instruments. Let me now explain what is the control system. So how do we control a ventilator and how the, con the ventilator actually is controlling airflow or volume and pressure for a subject. Uh, that's important because um, the physician or the healthcare provider is going to determine what kind of control mode or flow mode of the ventilator that is should be acting on a subject depending on their medical conditions. 